we do to ensure our empire goes for our children because of rules and regulations of insurance with our renewals and things like that? Do you have any insight on that? Man, I, I don't mean to hog the mic, but I'm a, these are really, really good questions. I'm sorry. Um, okay, number one, every agent should be an LLC, okay? Because when you pass, a lot of carriers will not pay the residuals anymore, but they will if it's an LLC. That's number one. So even if your, your tax person says, we only really need one, it's just gonna be a pastor anyways, still get it so that if something happens, you still have funds coming in for your family. Um, as many of you know, last year, my business partner, Vince Spampanato, spoke at 8% Nation. Um, and he had just got done with his last round of chemo and had just gotten uh, the clean bill of health that he had been cancer free, only to find out a month later had come back and then ultimately took his life two months ago, okay? And I'm gonna talk on this again this afternoon, but when you're building, we have to get out of the mindset of being a salesperson and get into the mindset of being a business person. And there's a huge difference there. A salesperson wakes up every morning unemployed. Got to get up, pound the pavement, pretend like I'm fired up and I'm really not, get the card, show up, convince them it's their signature, okay? Like, that's, that was my life, okay? Like, I'm, like, I didn't forge this, Mary, okay? Like, this is you, all right? That's a salesperson, but a business owner has infrastructure, processes in place so that when they're removed, their business still runs. I wake up every morning with cash flow not figuring out where's my next lead going to be, that's you know? That's, that's the advice I give. That's good. <laughs> I'd answer, I'd say the same thing. Is obviously secure is whenever uh, I retire or, or pass away, whichever comes first, uh, we'll go to Cody. And, and so obviously I have a, an LLC and Cody has an LLC. And, and so, uh, and then we've also, uh, in my trust uh, that I've done, it's, it's designated in there and, and so, uh, just kind of done some pre-planning on it. So just to clarify, you're saying if you set up your business and it's an LLC and have the business paid for, your children don't even have to have, to have insurance licenses to retain that residual? They just have to be a part of the LLC? They'll still have to have an insurance license, I, I believe. The, the insurance companies should still require them to have an insurance license. So you wouldn't be able to pass your business to someone who's not, not a licensed individual. Uh, they would have to be a licensed individual, as far as I, I understand it. Uh, the insurance company would require them to be licensed. So they could be an agent for the business that runs the LLC and that's how they would keep the residuals going? Correct, because commissions continue to come into the LLC. Uh, I, I tell people all the time that, you know, individuals, they're going to pass away. Corporations never die. As a, as a, obviously a big example, Sam Walton, you know, he passed away. Obviously he founded Walmart. Uh, but when Sam Walton passed away, Walmart didn't shut the doors. Mm -hmm. Walmart continued to be bigger and better than they've ever been, you know. And uh, so that's just kind of a, it's obviously a big example, but that's an example, so.